time. How are you? Well, I'm okay. I'm supposed to be in Hawaii with all my friends. Unbeknownst to me, Russell had sent an email to Camille threatening litigation for the statement that she made. Oh. She was only repeating things that I had told her, but I had no idea that Russell would threaten her with the lawsuit. They were saying you can't come into the party because Camille's inside. Well, you and Russell communicating at all through any of this? Oh, we weren't communicating through it. Uh, don't you find that odd that you wouldn't? I mean, you just got thrown out of a party and you're not going to talk about it? Did he say, I love you, I'm so sorry that I may have tarnished your friendships with these women and whatever, or I'm sorry that our night was turned upside down? No. So there's no ownership, really? I guess not. And how does that feel? It feels horrible. It makes I'm angry about it now. Having my friends tell me I can't go to Hawaii because of something Russell emailed, it, I just really felt like I was in shock when I was in a limo on the way home and feeling like I then didn't want to go home and start a huge fight with Russell, but I needed to see the emails to know what was going on, so I had him print it out to me. And then I read it, and I was floored. And I said, you didn't give her an out. You said if you don't say you didn't say it, he was going to pursue legal channels. Well, but that's a threat, basically. So there was no collaboration. He didn't want to work with her if she didn't do what he wanted her to do. Right, exactly. And so it just felt very bullying. Yeah. And once I read it, of course, I understood the situation. And then I just felt so angry at him for the fact that he cannot control himself. Do you understand the position that these friends of yours are in all the time. I do. It's a catch-22. They want to rescue, they want to help, they hear the cries for help, but then they they get their hands slapped. Right. Or they get threatened. Right. Now it's affecting my friendships, not just my marriage. And I'm not mad at the ladies. I'm just mad at him. You know, I'm trying to... What you think about it, Mona? <laughs> you want to get down and play? Huh? Years. The constant management of Russell, so there's not going to be another I know. explosion, or the management of you not saying anything, so there's not another explosion. I don't want to be attached to his behavior.